welcome to my channel. Today I have a really fun video. I actually have my Boxy Charm by Ipsy. This is my August 2023 box. So if you want to see all the goodies I have in here, then please keep on watching. <laughs> Alright guys, let's get right into it. I do have my Ipsy, my Boxy Charm by Ipsy box and uh, you do get six full size products in here. Get right into it guys. I won't lie to you guys, I had like like four hours of sleep last night so if I look a little tired it's because I, you know, had no sleep. But I'm excited to have this box. It's, I came, it came in relatively early so let's get right into it. So I wanted to mention that you do get six full size items and for Canadians and shipping and the um, exchange rate, it comes to almost $60 a month. It's really expensive, I would say, but I do like, I like the box still. I don't remember if I did add-ons. I kind of see a lot of more items than usual, so I might have did some add-ons, but let's get into the main stuff that I picked. So, or I, I don't know if I picked them, but I know they're my items. So first off, we do have the Ciate London Watermelon Burst Setting Powder. This guy here is in a 15 ml, it's a watermelon setting powder. Uh, that's pretty much it, honestly, it's all, that's all it says. Packaging is so hard to read, guys, because it's like like shiny. So this is a lock-in makeup for long-lasting wear with Ciate's uh, uh, Watermelon Burst uh, Loose Powder Delectately fragranced, this finely milled and lightweight loose powder smooths over makeup for a crease free soft focus finish with no flashbacks. It is so hard to read guys because it's like shiny and it's white. All right, I think I actually have this already. I won't lie, I haven't even used it yet because I have so many setting powders to go, uh, setting powders to go through. So it looks like this. I have a full size of this still that I have not used yet. So I can't tell you what I think about it. Uh, but you know what? I, I feel like setting powders are something that I don't really, really like to pay for. So, and I find like, and I feel like I have relatively dry skin, so I only use the smallest amount of this because I just like to set my face so makeup applies better over it. But honestly, I'm down to have it, uh, you know. Honestly, guys, I have so many setting powders right now. So I have two that I'm currently using, so and they're going to take me 15 years to use, guys. So honestly, I don't know when I'm going to get to this because I do have two other ones that I have to use up before using this one. But, you know, I'm excited to use it. And I, I, li I like Ciate makeup. I find they have relatively good quality makeup. Nothing crazy hype, but I still really like them. All right, guys. Next product we have in here, this is a really exciting product, honestly speaking. I'm going to try it out in this video. This is by the Pat McGrath Labs Liquid Lust Legendary Wear um, Metallic Lipstick, which is pretty intense. It has this amazing, cool packaging. Honestly, as soon as I saw this, I don't even know if I was going to wear the lipstick or not, but I needed some Pat McGrath because hello. <laughs> uh, so let's try it out. This guy here is the Nude Awakening. I hope it's actually a nude because, honestly, guys... I didn't really know that it was metallic. I didn't really think of it. I just saw Pat McGrath and I blacked out. So this is what it looks like, guys. It looks metallic. And let's try it on. Let's just go all crazy with it. Oh, my God. Honestly, guys, it's pretty cool looking. I would say, like, comment below. Tell me what your thoughts are. Honestly... It looks really cool on. It's not like crazy metallic where it's like, whoa, but it's obviously metallic, you know? It just has a really cool sheen. Let me just check in the mirror. Yeah, it's a really fun lip color, honestly. I definitely think I would wear that. I don't wear I'm going to wear it, but like a nice outing or like, and it is a liquid lipstick, so it would de definitely last longer. I definitely would like to see how well it wears on your lips because I would kind of I feel like it really shows off many of your fine lines uh but we'll see how that looks like yeah it's not like obviously my favorite product in the world but it's definitely a cool product to own and it's definitely more wearable than a lot of other metallic lipsticks so alrighty guys next product I have in here I guess I think yeah so I ended up getting this product. Uh, I'm glad that we got some makeup. Like I would say the setting powder and the liquid lipstick is a makeup item. And last time we didn't get any makeup items, I don't think. So here is finally some more skincare. We have some Inky. This is by the brand Inky List, but it's also by Selfless uh, by Har Harem. Wow, are they 
both the same brand. I never even noticed it. I always thought that Selfless by a Harem, Harem, I don't know how to say the name of a YouTuber, uh, but it does say Inculus on the top too, so I didn't know that his brand is connected to that, or like maybe it's a collection by Inculus that they created with this YouTuber. Anyways, every product purchase provides someone with a year's clean drinking water. That's so beautiful. Uh, this So this product here is a niacinamide, niacinamide, I don't know how to say that guy, but I know what it is, I just don't know how to say it. And, um... Marajuco? I don't know how to say that either. Marajuco, I always find those two words difficult to say. Marajuco. Uh, daily Barrier Support Moisturizer. It's a nourishing and lightweight for daily hydration and healthy looking skin. Honestly, I have extremely dry skin, guys. I, um, I like that it's nourishing and daily hydration, but I do find a lightweight moisturizer is kind of not the greatest for me, only because I do need... I need a thick moisturizer, guys. You can't when you're really dry skin. But... I am excited to use this. It is a full size. I, again, all products in here are full size. This is, um, yeah, so it says like, yeah, it's by Inky List, so it's interesting. Inky List is a rel relatively, um, again, they sell it at Sephora, but it, it's definitely lower in the spectrum of prices uh, for skincare. So, uh, but you can, it says here you can use it AM and PM. So, is a nourishing yet lightweight gel cream that helps to even skin tone and supports the skin barrier for healthy looking skin. It doesn't say much about that, uh, so I'm definitely excited. I always like a nice moisturizer, so why not? But I definitely think it's more of a, like, for oily combination skin because it's definitely a lightweight moisturizer. And I'll need some thickness because I have dry, dry skin. Honest, guys, I'm definitely, in ex ex I'm definitely interested in trying this product out. Guys, I don't know how to speak today because, again, I had no sleep, so... <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, next product we have in here. Uh, this is the Saint Jane, Saint Jane Luxury Sun Ritual. This brand I've actually never heard of before. It's really cool packaging. This is a pore smoothing SPF 30 sunscreen with uh, desert rose hibiscus and jasmine. Uh, jasmine, that's what it says. Uh, honestly, I'm definitely interested in trying this product out. It's a sheer, invisible texture, melts into your skin, beautifully blurring the, the look of pores. Desert Road Hibiscus and Jasmine visibly smooth, sensitive, and blemish-prone complexions. It's a mineral-based and ultra-clean. It's for your daily elixir for pore-perfecting sun protection. Honestly, guys, definitely excited to try this. I did pick this, honestly, because I wasn't really crazy about any of the other products, and... I, I thought it would be cool to get like a two-stop shop kind of thing. You get your SPF and a nice like primer for your makeup. So I'm definitely excited to try this out and I really hope it does work. I'm very picky when it comes to SPF and I'm picky when it comes to primers. So we'll see how that works. Definitely excited to try that out. I haven't heard of this brand before, uh, but it's honestly one of the only products that I see here that I don't really, uh, I'm not really familiar with, you know? Alright guys, um, I already forgot what the product is called, but this is the main product they choose for you, or you can choose that's your higher priced item, and this is usually the sixth item that people get that are for BoxyCharm buyers, I think. I forgot what it's called, guys. But anyways, guys, I got one of my, like, I, I love LMS, it's not my favorite, sorry, but it's top up there when it comes to really good products and really good skincares. I really love LMS. Uh, this is the Pro Collagen and Mineral, Mineral, Marine Cream. It's an anti-wrinkle hydrating day cream for fine lines, wrinkles, Pandina, Provonic, I don't know, all these words, guys. It firms, soothes, and hydrates. It's a, it's a 50 mil. Uh, honestly, guys, I probably tried this product before because I've tried a very... I probably tried a lot of their collection and I really love... Uh, LMS, I find they really work well on my skin. I feel like packaging is just overkill. But here it is, guys. And this is the the Pro Collagen Marine um, Cream. Honestly, guys, again, I always need moisturizers. So we did get a little bit too in this box. So it's kind of overkill. But I use so much moisturizer, guys. I go through it a lot because, again, I have extremely dry skin. So give it to me. I'm down. Alrighty guys, before we get into what I'm thinking is my add-ons, but I don't even recall making add-ons. I don't know if they just added these to my boxes or what's going on, but before we get into that, I'm going to show you my last product that I forgot to do, uh, show you, but this is the Gloss Modern, I don't know how to say that brand, I, but I've heard of it before. It's a clean luxury perfume oil, it's the Rose Balguer All Time, it's called. It's paraben free, fa phthalate free, and vegan, it's a 15 mil 
Uh, it's a clean luxury perfume and yeah, it's alcohol free line of delicate perfumes higher in concentration than Eau de Parfum. It's a rich oil that nourishes even the uh, most, even for the most sensitive and uh, skin, envelops it with fine fragrances. Just excited to pick a, a perfume again. Nothing really excited me in this choice, uh, but I did see this perfume, and it's almost a risk. It's really risky to get a like a perfume because again, they can be really like they just don't fit you well. But it's fun to do uh, to try it out. I find that it's relatively small for a size to put it in the box, like a 50 ml. I do like that it's a roll-on, so you can kind of just dab it like this. It's really strong, guys. But let's just try it out. Mmm. It smells nice. It's definitely a lot, so I would suggest using a little bit of this. But it's definitely super nice. I would just dab it slightly on my neck, and I would leave this in my purse just to, like, you know, just freshen up throughout the day if I need it. Uh... It is a lot. I don't think it's something that I would repurchase myself, but I definitely like the scent. It's really pretty. I just find it a little strong for my taste, but I definitely think that this is something that's, I like the roll on aspect of it. When I'm just in a pickle and I need to smell a little fresh, this would be great just to throw in my purse. Alrighty guys, let's talk about two add-ons. I'm guessing they're add-ons. I don't know what they are. I checked my, my Ipsy stuff, but I delete a lot of things on my email, so I don't know what I did. But there are two add-ons. So I have the No Problem Primer. It's a skin and pore covering. Touch. It's by the brand Touch and Soul. I'm almost positive I had this primer before. I'm kind of glad that I have it back into my life. I did really like a lot of their primers before. So this is a moisturizer, silky pore. So it's, not, it's a moisture, silky pore primer for perfect makeup, it says. Uh, so I'm definitely excited to try it out, honestly. Another primer in the box to try out. And I definitely need to start like cleaning out some of my primers because I've had a lot of them for years. So maybe this one would be a really good one to replace it with. Hey, I'm excited. I don't know what the cost it is or if it was just an add-on to my box. I don't even know, guys. But honestly, I like me a primer. I don't remember making this um, making this an add-on for me because honestly, I have so many primers, guys, that I don't usually uh, do add-ons for primers. So I don't know where this came from. But hey, I black out a lot of the times when there's sales. So anyways, I'm excited, sure. Next product I'm really excited for, guys. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Blush. Uh, and this is in the shade uh, Pink Dahlia. Honestly, guys, I'm so excited to try this. I think I really wanted this, but I didn't end up... I don't know. Again, I don't know how these products came to my box. If it's, like, add-ons that they just accidentally didn't... I don't know. Guys, what is this color, guys? Oh, my God. It is so pretty, honestly, guys. Let's just try putting a little bit, even though my, my makeup is so disgusting now. So I'm using the brush that comes with it. Honestly, guys, I'm wearing, like, honestly, I'm wearing, like, makeup right now, so it's kind of hard to blend because I'm wearing, like, powder underneath my makeup. But honestly, I really feel like I can really like this, this blush. I think it's going to work really well on my skin tone, and I just love it. I think it's so pretty. So we'll see. I have to really try it on without all this makeup on, but it looks like it works really well, and it's such a pretty shade, guys. Honestly, you can just really blend that out. Definitely excited to try that out. Um, again, I don't know where this product came from or what's, what it's about, but I love me an ice cream blush, so give it to me. Again, overkill right now, guys, but I'm literally going to wash off my makeup after this video, so yeah. I don't know, it's so cute. I love this blush. It looks so pretty. I am using my finger because, again, I have makeup on. But this is the product. It is so pretty, and you get tons of th products with it. It's a great, like, product to take on the go uh, with you traveling because it does come with a little brush. Honestly, guys, it's so cute. I love the shade. Again, I don't know where it came from. Now that I look super blushy and a little crazy at this moment, <laughs> that is pretty much it for this box, guys. I got eight items in this box, honestly, guys. I don't know what happened with those two add-ons. It's a win-win. I like all the products that I got in this box. Do I think it's the craziest, most exciting box in the world? No, I don't. I don't, honestly. Guys, I really did it on the blush. <laughs> um, but I do think there's a lot of items that are like... I like a little bit of a variety, and I like that there's a lot of variety in this box. I mean, obviously, the two moisturizers are not that crazy of a variety, but... 
I still really love LMS and I'm excited to have that. And I do like that you get a bit of everything. And I do like that you get a nice high-end product, which is the, um, which is the Pat McGrath lipstick. I definitely think it's wearable. Comment below, tell me what you think. I think it's pretty wearable on. And honestly, I feel like the... No, it's pretty shimmery still. <laughs> uh, honestly, guys, I think it's a really wearable uh, metallic uh, lips product. So, okay, guys, that is pretty much it for this box. I honestly think it's a pretty good box, and I really like... I would use all the products in here, so I'm pretty happy. And that's another main thing, is that it's not probably the most exciting box in the world, but I definitely will... The main thing is that would you use all the products in the box? And I will. I will always. I will definitely use all the products in here. So I'm definitely excited. Uh, so yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. Please like this video if you like more unboxings of my BoxyCharm by Ipsy. And also take a moment and comment. Did you like these items? Did you get these items yourself? Uh, what's your thoughts? Did you, did you like the box for August 2023? I would really like to hear. And also, please take a moment and subscribe to this channel because we're going to have tons and tons of fun on this channel. So please take a moment and subscribe. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope you all have a wonderful day.